Now, as soon as you open Premiere Pro, you'll be presented with the new project screen. Now we wanna go straight to new project. So I'm gonna type in here, learn Premiere. And the location here is uh, set to my desktop. I'm gonna leave these specific settings how they are for the moment, so we'll hit OK. So we're here in the Premiere Pro workspace. Now it may seem a little overwhelming, but I can assure you that it is actually rather simple to use. This portion of your screen is called the timeline. Now this is where you'll put all your video tracks and your audio tracks. So as you're scrubbing through your timeline, you'll be able to see them on the program monitor. And over here, you've got your source monitor where you will crawl through clips um, to pick out the portions you want to go onto your timeline. Now to get these clips, you need to import them down here, which is where all your media will be stored. To import media, all you have to simply do is double click down here. And I've got some really nice drone footage that I shot on a DJI drone here. So I'm gonna select all of this, including the song up the top. I'm gonna click import. So you can see now that all the files are here. And you'll see that if I put my mouse over the top of a clip, I can actually scrub through the clip and preview it right in this media window. And if I double click on the clip, it actually shows up in the source monitor here. Here I can scrub through. Now in order to select the parts of the clip that you'd like to put onto your timeline, probably the easiest way to do this would be using in and out points. Now an in and out point is basically a start and end point from which you'd like to grab the portion of the clip and put it onto the timeline. If I go across over here and I decide this is the part that I like, I can actually put an in point by pressing I on the keyboard. And you can see now it's selected this whole remaining portion of the clip. Now if I drag forward, I can now click O for out. So remember it is I and O. And then that's actually selected this part of the clip here. Now all I have to simply do is just drag the clip down from this source monitor onto the timeline. So you can see now I have this clip down here and it runs for approximately eight seconds. And that is the same eight seconds that I selected on the in and out point here. So now I can play back this video in the program monitor by hitting spacebar. Now at the moment, the clip in the timeline doesn't give us much idea of what the clip looks like. You can imagine if I put another clip and dragged it straight in from the media pull over there, you can't really distinguish between the two clips without actually dragging the playhead across to the other clip. So in order to be able to see the individual frames of the clip, all you simply have to do is move your mouse over here into the track and then scroll down. Now I can zoom out on my timeline here by pushing the minus key on my keyboard. And then if I wanted to make this a bit shorter, I can drag it across like this. And I think I wanna start just after we leave that bit of peninsula there. So I'm just gonna drag this across here. And then to bring the clips right to the start of the video, I'm gonna click delete. Now you can see in this clip here, some of the propeller comes in from the drone. So I wanna cut off this bit here. Now in order to chop this, rather than dragging across like this, you see this actually leaves a bit of a gap and then I have to move the whole clip over. And this can be time consuming when you have uh, multiple clips to do this too. So there are two handy keyboard shortcuts. Now this is Q and W on the keyboard. Now similar to the in and out points, what Q and W does actually moves the start and end of the clip um, to your playhead. So by pushing Q, I will actually remove all this part of the clip and everything will be moved across. And then if I do it for this side where the propellers come in, I'll drag it over here. By pushing W, this will remove all of this and move all the other clips along. And that way I don't have any gaps. Now another couple of keyboard shortcuts that are really handy to know are J, K and L. J, K and L work really well with uh, setting in and out points because I and O on the keyboard are directly above J, K and L. Now what J, K and L do is actually allow you to scrub through your timeline. J is to go left through the timeline, so rewinding, and L is to go forward through the timeline, and K is to stop, or also holding down K and L will slowly go through, or K and J will slowly go back, and then spacebar to resume at normal speed. So now I'm gonna make some quick adjustments. I'm going to cut off the start of this clip here by simply pressing Q, which cuts off the start. And then that'll bring that all the way across here. And then I'll hit W to cut all this out. And then I'm gonna find just some extra clips here. And I'm gonna click I to set an in point. And then L to scroll fast through it. And then push O and drag this down here. So now that we've got a couple of clips on the timeline, it'd be great to add some music. 
Now you can see all these videos have been on the same track here. So each of these are individual tracks. We've got three video tracks here and we've got three audio tracks down here. Now I'm gonna double click on the song that I imported at the start of the video. And similar to videos, you can scrub through. So I'm gonna set an in point and then place an out point somewhere around here. And then I can drag the audio. So then if I drag my playhead right to the start and hit play, you can see that the video and audio play synchronously. Now, when you're happy with your edit, it's very easy to export it. You just go simply up to File, Export, Media, and you'll see here that you can actually scrub through the video just to make sure it's exactly what you want. And then I'm gonna choose the format as H.264. This is probably the most common uh, compressed format that uh, gives you a video that's not too big and remains uh, quite high in quality. And then I can choose where to output it and what to call it. So I'm gonna output onto the desktop and call it drone video, save. And all these settings are usually fine um, so long as they match what your initial clip resolution was. And because Premiere automatically gathers that information when you drag the first clip into a timeline, uh, you should be fine with this. And then simply I can click export. And now if I go onto my desktop, I can see that my drone video is here. I can double click it and then open it in QuickTime Player. And there you go guys, that is how to do a, a basic edit in Premiere Pro. If you'd like to see some more videos, subscribe and let me know what you'd like to see.